The following champion versus champion contest is a hell in a cell match. And is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Gentlemen, stand up and cheer this social media icon. Well, love him or hate him, his career is off to an amazing start. You're right, Saxton. This guy nearly ended the 800-plus day universal title reign of Roman Reigns in just his third match. We'll have to contend with Gunther's devastating, unforgiving, punishing chops. Make way for the ring general, Gunther. Six foot five, nearly 300 pounds of pure malice. <laughs> the ring general has declared the mat sacred and sees this industry as pure sport meaning there is no room for games and antics. Uh, Gunther takes everything so seriously, like he's always scowling. Hey, listen, he takes pride in what he does. It's difficult not to admire the expertise possessed by Gunther. Gunther is so unflinching, as if nothing phases him. The man's impervious to distraction because he's constantly focused on the task at hand. Yeah, it's like watching a machine. Introducing the challenger from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 205 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Logan Paul! And his opponent from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Gunter! Tonight continues the tradition of the highly coveted Intercontinental Championship. Its holder is frequently considered by many as the hardest working champion in all of sports entertainment. WWE Intercontinental title on the line. Perhaps a new chapter will be written in this championship's long history. For over 40 years, the WWE's best have competed for this title. Winning the Intercontinental title has been a major milestone in some Hall of Fame careers, and well, it could be just that again here tonight. Surprise. Oh, you're <laughs> Ball uppercut. 
That'll knock you silly. Series of reversals. for every move attempted. Counters on counters, technical prowess on display. Boom, big overhand. Oh man, he is more than fired up right now. Oh, with authority! Hell in a Cell is such a demonic structure that exists solely for pain and suffering. Corey, I have to know, is there any use in coming up with a game plan for this match, or do you have to play it all by ear? No, I absolutely play it by ear, Cole. You know how they say that everyone's got a plan until they get hit in the mouth? Well, everyone's got a plan until they enter Hell in a Cell. the top rope going for a pin for the championship a kick out before three the end was in sight what are they doing here seems like the champ might have a pretty clear strategy in mind here go uh oh oh driving the elbow the champion's down the champ And frustration might be starting to set in. Big forearm. Turning the tables there. Ooh, getting cut down by surprise. Ooh, merciless looking blow. measured attack. Getting back into the ring. Unpacks a well-placed punch. Oh, gripping the jaw. Oh, my goodness. That's insulting. The champ isn't backing off. Oh, we can have a new champion. Based on what we just saw, I think this match is far from over. Who knows what that kick out cost? The champ might be running on fumes. And I get that Paul thought he had him there, but he really needs to follow up. He can't let time cost him this match. How in the world did he kick out? Bam! The champ not in a great place. Hell in a Cell is no joke, Michael, and they have done their best not to let this structure affect them too greatly. And a backstabber! Logan Paul going up top. He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. Up high! Oh, wait a second. They're thinking. Oh my God. Superhuman power. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Now on the outside, right by those cell walls. 
Oh my goodness! situation right now. Oh. oh, impressive counter. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Ooh. And that's a nasty gash on the face of Logan Paul now, guys. Boom! <laughs> Reversals and more reversals. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. Counter upon counter, great minds thinking alike. Ooh, 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 oh. He turns it around. And it destroys the cell wall. And his opponent, too. I don't think he knew the wall would give way like that. He knew exactly what he was doing, Saxton. Here he goes up the side of the structure. A long way up. Well, this looks like one of those last gasp efforts, if you ask me. And that's what you got to do to win this thing. Safety clearly isn't a concern for him right now. How can it be in this type of match? He's reached the peak. What is he thinking? He has a task at hand, but prefers to be showboating right now. There's Gunther with a counter. A knee drop. And with step up there, the amount of fear on these superstars increases. The top of the cell is like walking through a minefield. Oh, wicked clothesline! Undeniable athleticism from Logan Paul. Logan Paul's in a daze. This could be over soon. Gunther wants to finish this. Out him and down with the powerbomb. Looks like the champ is going to retain. We have descended to the last circle of hell, gentlemen. Time to find out who stays and who goes. We have seen these men unleash a lot of devastating offense. Incredible that this match hasn't ended yet. It might just be a matter of time. This one is close to coming to a head. How can they even compete up there? How are they not frozen with fear? When you hold this much contempt for your opponent, you'll do anything you have to to drag them to hell. Oh, short arm chop. We're gonna hang on. Ooh, carefully measured knee strikes. Still left again. Yikes. Every fall on top of the cell is like putting your flesh through a meat grinder. This arena as war is waged on top of the cell. Oh, connects dead on. 
The champ's eyes were glazed over. Kick right to the gut. Hopefully the chain link can stand up to this mayhem. This isn't what it was made for. No one is supposed to be up there. Yeah. Quick thinking pays off. Gunther showing he's not out of it. Gunther could be turning his fortunes around. Oh, an arm breaker. Everyone in this arena is on their feet. Everyone is holding their breath. How is this going to end? Just a ruthless maneuver from the ring general. True old school. The ring general showing off his power, delivering a power bomb. Another one bites the dust to the champ. And there was some force on that move. We knew what we were in for with this matchup, but we didn't think the hell was going to be let loose above the cell. Hang it back with their own counter. Way to hang on. 25 feet above the ring. This has catastrophe written all over it. This is too much, but I can't look away. I am feeling a titanic shift roaring through this crowd right now. Well, you're not the only one, Saxon. It's all coming to a head now. Do you hear the WWE Universe? They are ravenous for these gladiators who are putting life and limb on the line right now. behind it. Somebody do something about this. What's anybody going to do, Saxton? You go up there and try to reason with him. Scene. I don't know how this match can go on. Oh, jarring uppercut. Forearm! Unloading with an uppercut. A calculated attack here against Logan. And inch by inch, Gunther's chipping away at the competition. Broken up with a fist to the face. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Ooh. And now he's making his way up the side of the cell. Well, I'm not so sure he knows what he's doing, guys. Who are you to question him? Uh, this has to be zapping every last bit of energy. At the top of the cell now. Why? This is a career-defining moment for him. Hang on, just a sec. Oh, God, never saw it coming. Guys, we know just how dangerous Hell in a Cell can be, and we're seeing it up close right now. Oh, nothing good ever comes from fighting on top of the cell. Oh, 
Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. Oh, the elbow connects. This entire arena is on the edge of their seats watching these two clash on top of the cell. And a series of vicious stomps. What a shot. The champ's eyes were glazed over. Ooh, stop to the tummy. Tummy? Someone get the EMTs ready. I just know this isn't going to end well. Precariously battling 25 feet up in the air. Ooh. Ooh, knee drop connects. Knee drop. In terms of worst ideas of all time, fighting on top of the cell is right up there on the list. You can just feel the imminent disaster in the air. Flying forearm. Boom. On the move. Pick it up, speed. Huh. Caught with a punch. Oh, no. Trapping the arm. Vicious stomps to the hand. Hell of a mountain, gentlemen, and these poor souls are duking it out at the summit. Gracious. He reverses it. Gunther quick to the counter. And back elbow creates separation. Right to the kidneys from behind. There are heights, and then there are heights. Being at the top of hell in a cell, Chance of cooler heads prevailing here. Off. Forearm just raking across the face. Where do these superstars get the idea to do this? I don't know, but if this is something they dreamt up, I wouldn't want to know what their nightmares look like. Hot right in the stomach creates the separation. This is beyond dangerous. This is more than reckless. No one should be up there, let alone performing these maneuvers. Well, kicks like that are less about injury, more about insult. Logan Paul holds him off. Close line. You could hear the chain link fence buckling with every impact. Answering back. Wow, punch. The title might change hands. Oh, the elbow drop. Knee crusher. And again, and again. Nothing's going to stop him. Why in the world are they doing this? They escaped the dangers of the cell just to fight up to the top with every step. Oof. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. just waiting on bated breath. We've all seen life-altering moments come from the top of that cell. Mistake made by Logan. The ring general driven down with the powerbomb. I think the champ's got it. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. We've already seen part of the cell break apart. No telling what more can break apart. Is now these athletes are taking their chances in a very position at the top of Hell in a Cell. Good wrench. He avoids the damn. Oh, my. We knew this was going to be a vicious match, but these superstars are taking it above anyone's expectations. Proving Hell doesn't need to stay in the confines of the cell. Hell can go anywhere. Delivering nasty stops. Oh, these are just gnarly cross faces. Four all across the face. They got up there. But how are they going to get down? I don't know if they thought... Down through the oh, man. This is hard to watch. I think we finally have our answer. Pin attempt for the championship. Oh, a kick out! I am shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. Oh, someone 
Oh, dentist. This man is invincible. Dragunov's a man who struggles to keep his rage in check, but when Dragunov loses it, let's be honest, it's a lot of fun to watch. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, the NXT Champion, Ilya Dragunov. You are looking at one of the hardest hitting competitors in NXT history. A man who's ready to unleash fury on the entire WWE roster. and called the czar of NXT. Right now, Ilya Dragunov looking to expand his power to all of WWE. A true rock star entrance. There is an electric feeling in this arena. Undeniable energy to his arrival. Setting the stage for what's to come next. And his opponent from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke. The king of strong style is ready for action. His renowned striking ability, his MMA background. If you come at the king, you best not miss. Especially when the king can hit back. Shinsuke Nakamura has become more villainous and more nefarious. Well, Shinsuke has finally become the main event star we knew he would be.
Shinsuke has always been dangerous, but lately he's only gotten more ruthless, more aggressive, more devastating. He's taking every opportunity he can find to inflict as much. Hold on a second, could be a matter of time. And the ropes forced to break. He did not want to be caught up in that submission any longer. with the suplex. And he breaks the count quickly. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. And this one might be headed ringside. Lands in the drop zone. One, Reversal from Nakamura. Two, oh, what are they doing here? All the way up. Sit out, Gord Buster. I don't think Ilya enjoyed taking that attack head on. Ilya Dragunov has such an incredible fighting spirit. Is that enough to bring him the victory? Absolutely, Cole. Dragunov leaves everything he has in the ring. And if he brings that intensity and ferociousness to bear, there aren't many superstars he can't find a way to defeat. Oh! oh man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. And he's taking this to the outside now. Uh-oh, submission move. Fujiwara. Trying to find a way out. And he's out and delivers a knee. Here's the pump handle. Suplex. Launched. Oh, hold on. Is he thinking of a submission here? Clutching on to that. Cross sidebar is in. No. Change of plans. Uh-oh. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Bang. out of the ring but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. He gets back into the ring. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Sleeper holds sick and the ropes break this one up. Great ring awareness there. Oh, drops the hammer right on the lower back. Dragunov controlling the pace now. An intense and ferocious Dragunov making it perfectly clear. He will leave everything in the ring tonight. Oh, what a kick to the face. Oh, my God. Waist lift. Yeah, raw power there. Bind Buster. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, God, that hurt. Going up, uh-oh. But right hands create separation and escape. Boom, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. He's looking a little weary now. Dragging off, finding some explosive power to put behind his attacks. Sit down, Gord Buster. Shutting that down with the back elbow. the position you want to be in right now. Oh, right to the throat. Wrapping the arm over that top rope. Attacking the arm. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage. Basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. Oh, foot just stomping down. Here's the cover. starting to weigh down on him. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. From way up the top, oh, down. And Dragunov's resolve might be wavering here. And Dragunov stuck and looking for a solution. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Oh, his opponent is just overwhelming 
pinning him here. Maybe just stay down, man. You've done enough. Measured stomp right to the gut. Followed up by another to the chest. Puts the boot to the midsection. We're going to apply an agonizing armbar stretch. Oh. And he gets set back into the ring. He's got him scouted. Excellent opportunity for Ilya to shift the momentum. That's possibly the trigger for Dragunov to battle his way back into this one. Nakamura set his target, ready to strike. The end is near. Oh, saw that one coming, took advantage. Nakamura is still in this thing, refusing to let it end there. And Dragunov relock from the middle rope. Oh, what a splash! And the effects of this match able to be shaken off by Dragunov there. This is an absolutely terrible position for Shinsuke to be in. I don't know how these men keep going. They gotta be close to running on empty by now. Up high! down with the center. Boom! What a right! Nakamura gets the counter. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Quickly slips behind. Oh, a German suplex. Big shot to the chest. Big plans in mind from this superstar. That is a lot of distance to cover. There is no way, no way, coast to coast on the money. You saw that fire in Ilya's up. Shoulders down. A victory here for Ilya Dragunov. No way this loss does anything but rile Shinsuke up. He is not going to let this go. Someone's about to be taught a grappling lesson. A painful one, no doubt. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. This is a man who certainly is never shy about torturing his opponents. 
Drew Gulak well versed in every submission hold in the book. And from what I hear, every one of them hurts. Yeah, the lights can go out with just one move from Drew Gulak. A true Broad Street bully. The big, strong boy. And his opponent from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. This is a man who captured the NXT UK Championship as a teenager. Yeah, and he's only gotten better since. Same fighting spirit, but stronger and smarter than ever. We have seen time and time again that Tyler Bate has plenty of heart. A pure will to win. It has allowed Bate to defeat much larger opponents. And there's no mountain Bate can't conquer with a little hard work and a little more mustache wax. Tyler Bate calls himself the big, strong boy despite his size. Gets the message across. Bate exceeds all expectations, is a much bigger threat than he may appear to be. Yeah, Bate may be built like a cruiserweight, but he balances the scales with his unorthodox in-ring style and surprising power. He packs a deceptively strong punch. Bate is hoping those impressive ring skills will help him get the win here in this one. And across the ring is Drew Gulak. Makes the cover! We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Front face lock applied. Hoisted up. Oh, yeah, Page. Man. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no. Into a chop block. Powerless position to be in right now. Tossed around like a rag doll. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Torturous focus on the leg. Ooh. About to be the proverbial one-legged man in the you-know-what ticking contest. Breathtaking head scissor takedown. Hits him with the counter. From behind, into the German. Evading offense. Uppercut. Charge. Don't snap suplex so quick. Caught with the elbow. Strong suplex. A showcase of skill from Bate. And no doubt this is a tough spot for Drew Gulak. And that might be the start of the momentum swing Gulak needed. Yeah, Gulak able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. That holds back Bates' attack. Getting him into the corner. Oh, what an uppercut. So impactful. He is just reeling from that offense. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Knew what was coming there. Oh, wow. Yes, snap suplex. 
kicks out of the count. I didn't think this match was close to over. Going for a power slam, step step. And instead delivers the inverted DDT. Boot to the gut will stop anyone in their tracks. Escapes with a knee to the gut. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. He's able to sidestep there. Arm ringer into the Kimura. And the rope save it there. But will he be able to last much longer? him off. Here it comes. Oh, stop. And wow. Sidewinder suplex. Boom. And he's able to counter. Through the arena. Oh, what an uppercut! Now a series of vicious stunts. Oh man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. Uh oh, nothing funny about this. Gulak with the Jokerplex. Can he score the pin? Drew Gulak gets it. What a match! Here is your winner, Drew Gulak! And Gulak walks away with the win. I guess the big, strong boy just didn't have it in him tonight. He either wasn't big enough or strong enough, or both. Caden Carter and Katana Chance, the Warriors of NXT. The longest reigning NXT Women's Tag Team Champions in history. You know, Carter and Chance were a team long before NXT even had a women's tag team division. And it's paid off because this team is the team to beat in all of WWE. Oh, yippee, it's Chelsea and Piper. Be careful, Brian. They have the general manager on speed dial.
Green and Niven possess a continuity that borders the unorthodox, but when they focus on the same target, they get the job done. Yeah, they're united by their desire to rule the women's division at any cost and make the entire WWE Universe miserable. When you're talking about the biggest and baddest, Piper and Chelsea aren't part of the conversation. They are the conversation. Trust me, the last thing I want with Chelsea and Piper is a conversation. The following champion versus champion contest is a tag team match set for one fall. And it's for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers, the team of Katana Chance and Kaden Carter. And their opponents, the team of Piper Niven and Chelsea The WWE Women's Tag Titles are up for grabs here tonight. This is sure to be a momentous match. And we have action here with the self-proclaimed future WWE Hall of Famers, Chelsea Green and Piper Niven. And frankly, I'm just happy they're not at the commentary table with us tonight. Oh, bite your tongue, Matthew. The duo of Green and Niven has proven to be a wrecking shop here in the women's tag team division. Given the dynamic of the team, Green and Niven are difficult to prepare for. The one thing for sure is they'll have something up their sleeve. It would be wise for them not to underestimate Katana Chance and Caden Carter, though, Michael, because that's exactly when this dynamic duo thrives. And you just know, when Chance and Carter are thriving, <laughs> we're all partying. Well, if you're partying, Saxton, then I'm not. And there is no other term for that than just cheap. A cheap shot. Placed into the corner. Oh, that backfired on her. Sharp punch. with that reversal. Close fist connects. Uh-oh. Nice counter from Chance. Here's the tag. Oh, this isn't going to be good at all. Boom, decapitating clothesline in the corner. And the challenger's showing the champions what it means to be a top-tier team. What a punch. Assaulting the knee with purpose. Watch her set up in the corner. Knife edge chop. Oh, what a chop. This could be it. Bonsai drop. Wrist lock. Climbing the road. She's still as determined as ever. Tag, is good. Tag made, tandem offense incoming. Set off the ropes, trip, drop kick, and the exclamation point, Tope Atomico. The communication between these two is evident by that move. Not getting a two count at this point has to be frustrating. Put into the corner now. Wicked forearm. Did you hear that thud? Grabs their opponent by the ankles. Oh, you power bomb. That might
Stripe for the title. She overcomes the pinfall attempt. It's not over yet. Plenty left to go in this one. Catches a punch. Carter putting her opponent on notice. Axe handle. Oh, stomping away. Oh, and that buys some time. <laughs> Caught with that forearm. Stiff headbutt. Got to be agonizing for the arm. Oh, that might have just broken something. Looking for more damage here. Out of release, back suplex. That is the champion demanding respect, saying I can control you anytime I want to. Oh, uh, Hangman's neck breaker. Looking for a submission here into the tour. Punching her way out. And breaks the hole. She throws her back in. Big elbow. Got to find a way back into the ring now. Before the count runs out. Toss back into the ring. She was a millisecond away from a count out, guys. Ooh. Oh, an apron slap. Disrespectful. The challenger is not in a great place. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Ooh! Wrist lock, climbing the ropes, into the arm drag. Here's the pin total on the line! Go! Emphatic kick out from the champion. Obviously still has some fight left. She gets the tag. And she's stunned in the corner. Oh, God, what a close line. Hammer lock. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Lockbreaker. Time for her to go home. Oh, no, wait a minute. Fights out in two. What does she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. Might take her head clean off her shoulders. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Tagged into action. <laughs> Set up the side rush and leg sweep. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Snake eyes. Left by the turnbuckles. Oh, just making their opponents suffer with their boot. Oh, absolutely punishing. So she tags in. Able to get there in time. She's getting fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. Oh, man, by the hair. Ouch. Hair whip. <laughs> the challenger's hopes are slipping away. Yeah, she's looking dream I don't know how much is even left in her. Caught with the backbreaker. She sent back in under the ropes. She cares. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Oh, 
Around and around we go. Tilt the world head scissors. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. Tag made, tandem offense incoming. Set off the ropes, trip, drop kick, and the exclamation point, Topea Tomiko. Oh, nicely done, seated suplex. Oh. And set right into the corner. Uh-oh. Face first. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Chelsea on the receiving end. 360 double knee. Face breaker. Gonna see a new champ. Two count. No, she kicked out. What a display of stamina. The champ showing they are truly worthy of this title. But things might only get harder from here. That is firing your biggest shot, but leaving your prey left standing. Time to reload. Competition at its finest. This is what it's all about. Yeah, these competitors are refusing to back down. And that's what everyone... If this lands, it's over. Good time of chance with a Phoenix Splash. Headbutt to the back of the neck. 
Oh, what a chancery. Placed in the corner. Hard whip into the corner. The corner shotgun drop kick. Niven has the target acquired. She's able to make it. Oh, I'd love to see this. The hammerlock. Flatliner. That's got to be it. Time for her to go home. Oh, no, wait a minute. Three, no. You've got to believe that some doubt is creeping into the champ's head. This just might be more than what the champ bargained for. is ticking here. Jaden Carter taking a step back and measuring her opponent. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Piper could be moments away from being beaten. Oh, and Niven turns the tables. She's in off the tag. Face buster. Yeah. Able to beat Chelsea to the punch. <laughs> Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. The effects of this match are showing on the champ. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Boom, right in the button. Into the corner. This can't be good. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Gets the tag. Chelsea Green picks the leg of their opponent, steps through. Here we go. Rolling Deathlock. Rolling Deathlock. Looks like she has other plans here. I think she was just looking to soften her up a little there. She scores big with the counter. Arm drag. And there's still some signs. Uh oh, new champion! And we have new tag team champions! Here are your winners the team of Katana Chance and Kaden Carter. A big win for Katana Chance and Kaden Carter, and an even bigger celebration. That was a great example of what a tag team can do when it's firing on all cylinders.
The hype man putting his money where his mouth is. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Columbia, South Carolina, weighing in at 205 pounds, Trick Williams. He may be abrasive, but Trick has proven to be the kind of friend we all wish we had. Though that mouth has also earned him quite a few enemies. Trick has proven to be ride or die, but he's not planning to sit in the background forever. Williams has the tools to be a top star in WWE. He just needs to put them all together. Ah, this is going to be fun, because here comes the Ninja Master, the Master of Martial Arts. And his opponent, representing... The Alpha Academy from Kobe, Japan, weighing in at 156 pounds, Akira Tozawa! Yo, know, Tozawa has had a reputation for goofy antics. Hey, remember when he beat JBL at poker? Yeah, but don't be fooled, Byron. Tozawa's a technical wizard and has stamina for days. He's a threat against any competitor. Gentlemen, the ninja battle is about to begin. The always entertaining and surprisingly devastating Akira Tozawa. Yeah, Tozawa is certainly a superstar who can back up his threats. Whether it's dangerous strikes or precision aerials, it's always a top effort from Tozawa. I'm sure his opponent is about to feel the power of Tozawa. He's got Trick Williams staring him down, and I gotta say, you can't overstate just how hungry of a competitor Williams is. Yeah, Trick's obviously spent a good portion of his time here as a hype man, but that doesn't mean he's destined to stay in the background forever. You can tell he has a lot to prove, and tonight could be sink or swim time. That catches Chizawa looking. Oh, a club with a right forearm. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. Chizawa manages the counter. Getting set up for something in the corner. Gets him with the counter. Well-scattered reversal there. Corey Trick Williams is still fairly new to WWE. Which part of his game should be his focus here as he continues to develop? Well, there's a lot of natural talent and athleticism in Williams. It won't solve for everything, but it should be able to get him out of most jams while he builds up his body of work. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Right to the kidneys from behind. Effective arm drag. Boom! And a big boot. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Snapmare takedown. And if this is sink or swim, Williams clearly just did the ladder. Yeah, and now it's about Akira maintaining some of this pressure. Elbow throw, saying not today. And he sends him into the corner. Carefully measured knee drop. Oh, man. Closed fist punch to the... That's one of my all-time favorites, the octopus strip. Reversal and counter by him. Outrageous athleticism on the Hurricanrana. Shoulders down. And he manages to 
kick out at one. Little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. Tozawa gets countered. Trick able to take a stand there. Good chance for Williams to gain his wits about him. He's struggling a bit here. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. Boot to the stomach. Foot to the belly. Followed by a stomp. the gut to end the offense. Akira Tozawa planted one there. Laser precision. That explosive power of Tozawa looking astonishing. And the cover for the win! He kicks out at two. That is just pure instinct at this point. Akira looking to embarrass his opponent. Out of the ring, what's his plan here? And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Just see Trick reach that next level. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Tozawa manages the counter. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. And he's able to reverse. Trick Williams off the ropes. Throws it down with a slam dunk. Tozawa looks out of it. And Akira Tozawa with the loss here. This has to be a huge moment for Trick. He just let everyone know he's to be respected. Los Lotharios are here. Here to chase after glory and women. The following contest is a fatal four-way tag team match. And it's for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 403 pounds, Angel Garza and Umberto. Los Lotharios! I have to say, Los Lotharios have always been a threat, but they've brought a new level of aggression as of late. 
I agree, Corey, though I think they could probably cut down on the ringside flirting. That's like asking the sun not to shine, Saxton. I don't see how Los Lotharios can win this match if they can't stop making eyes at the crowd. Oh, just you wait. They know in the ring it's time for business, not pleasure. Everyone show some reverence for Imperium. One of the most disciplined groups WWE has ever seen. Looking ready to dish out some punishment. And their opponents, first at a combined weight of 440 pounds. Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser, Imperia! Byron, there's no doubt that every member of this group is an elite grappler that raises each other's game. Yeah, when you look at Imperium, you look at a group that's not here for antics or here to entertain the WWE Universe. They are simply here for pure wrestling. It's not about entertainment. It's about winning. It's about power. It's about dominance. And Imperium has done all of that. We are moments away from seeing Imperium's mission statement in action. And that's unfortunate for anyone else in the ring. Class is in session, gentlemen. And representing Chase University from Draper, North Carolina, weighing in at 216 pounds, Andre Chase. When I see Andre Chase, I remember the quote, those who can do, those who can't teach. Well, you can't deny that his teaching methods have proven successful. Time to prove he can. And gentlemen, class is about to be in session. Let's see if Chase can pass the test. Watch out. Here comes the MVP of Chase U. Michael, I can barely hear myself think. The Duke section is going nuts. And representing Chase University from Adelaide, Australia, weighing in at 253 pounds, Duke Hudson. Duke has made Chase U the accredited, prestigious institution it is today. You have to respect Duke's journey. He experienced a new level of success when he started taking his studies seriously. Well, Duke has all the pieces needed to become a breakout star. Now he needs to put them all together. We know Duke understands the assignment. He's the one who created it. Check page five of the syllabus. Mm -hmm, yeah, Duke did his thesis on the empowerment of striking first and taking matters into your own hands.
The Judgment Day is here. Everyone in their way is doomed. And at a combined weight of 439 pounds, they are the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest. The Judgment Day. A unified front of highly decorated, highly skilled, highly dangerous competitors. When united, they are truly lethal. May they consider themselves inevitable, as if nobody can stop them. Well, nobody has so far. Just look at the Judgment Day. Powerful, dominant, and ready to unleash their anger. They expect no mercy, no concern for their opponent's well-being. Well, that's how the Judgment Day conducts their business. They want power at any cost. Tag Team Tornado match underway. Multiple teams facing off, but there will only be one winner. Everyone competing at once. You really need to know the status of your partner and every opponent in this match.
Andre Chase with a hammerlock of pride into a flat one. Now a pin for the championship. Trying to end it. This pairing pain, strong dividends with an impressive tag team win. Love them or hate them, you know they did everything they could to earn this win. Don't blink or you'll miss Nathan Frazier. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Jersey in the Channel Islands. Weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Frazier. Nathan Frazier in a short time has already proven to be one of the best high flyers in all of WWE. And he's also proven he'll rattle everyone's cages and tell some hard-hitting truths. I like this guy. He's back! And his opponent, from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 200. 18 pounds. CM Punk! Punk's first tour of duty in WWE was epic. The pipe bomb set off an entirely new era in WWE. But oh, how times have changed since then. Yeah, when you think about the past accomplishments, Corey, CM Punk has been a WWE champion. He won Money in the Bank. So many other titles. But this current version of CM Punk is driven to surpass those past achievements. I gotta tell you, it still feels so surreal to see CM Punk back in a WWE ring. Never say never in WWE. And CM Punk is ready to prove himself all over again. Keep your eyes on the sky because you've got Nathan Frazier in the ring here. 
Yeah, no kidding, Michael. Frazier is one of those opponents who is as dangerous in the air as he is on the mat. There's really no telling what the high-risk, high-reward Frazier is going to pull out in this match. That aerial threat is certainly something that you have to be aware of when taking on Nathan Frazier. And Punk has that him-against-the-world mentality that's gotten into the highest heights in this industry that has propelled him to superstardom and the best-in-the-world moniker. The voice of the voiceless is always ready to back up every single thing he has said. And tonight is no different. CM Punk is here to fight. Oh, what a high kick. Producing a trampling. Off the turnbuckles. What's he gonna do? Perched up top. Diving knee drop. And Corey, it's something some superstars might discount, but when you're in the ring with CM Punk, you just have to accept his ability to get the crowd on his side. The smart thing to do when you're in there with Punk is to drown out all the noise. Focus on the man, not his masses. Turns that back on CM Punk. STO! And now gets tossed into the ring. Ow! He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Yeah, Nathan put that right on target. Springboard! This is this is getting out of hand. Don't do this. Oh, on the outside. Good grief. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Elbow drop. Piercing. Kick to the lower back. Just a blitz of offense on Frazier here. Nathan's got to slow down this assault. And he tosses him back in now. Springboard. Vicious right forearm. He's in a bad way, guys. Yeah, not looking good at all. Dodges that one. Neck breaker. And a standing moonsault. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's got him by the leg. With a DDT. And Frazier with momentum on his side. Yeah, he's focused on Punk. Not
vicious reversal with an elbow right to the mush. Springboard clothesline! Does he have him here? Major, major win! That'll change his career tonight! Here is your winner, C. And And Nathan Frazier will just have to accept this loss. Not every high risk leads to a high reward, and Nathan Frazier is living proof with this loss. Some of the most positive and energetic superstars you'll ever meet. The New Day. No one gets the crowd fired up like the New Day. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the New Day from Tampa, Florida. Weighing in at 285 pounds. Big E. Byron, I thought you didn't eat carbs. Well, I make an exception for the New Day. Get it. Ah, New Day rocks. Come on, Corey. New Day rocks. You're not clapping. No, I ever. Biggie's hips don't lie, man. <laughs> This dude is one of the most impressive young superstars we've seen. Braun Breaker on a meteoric rise in WWE. And his opponent from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker! We've seen a fury to Braun Breaker, a fiery temper that fuels him in the ring. And that fire cannot be extinguished. Just look at Breaker's face. The intensity of this man 
is palpable. Braun looks ready to completely annihilate the opposition. Braun Breaker has a simple and solid mentality when it comes to in-ring competition. He's here to break his opponent in half and then move on to the next obstacle in his path. Breaker's appetite for competition and his desire to take on bigger and badder opponents does seem insatiable. Every time he gets in the ring, he battles like he has something to prove. And it's that drive that has allowed Breaker to smash through practically anyone who has stood in his way over the course of his career. And staring him down is Big E. A man who I've said has all the tools a superstar needs to be at the top of WWE. Big E just needs to keep his focus on being an aggressor, being brutal, being the powerhouse that he truly is. I don't completely disagree with you, Corey. Big E should try to assert dominance tonight, but if he wants to get those hips moving and bust a move too, I wouldn't object. And countered into an arm drag. Oh. Big forearm. Falls to a counter. Attacking the knee. Big E's focus perhaps being tested there. Unhinged offense from Breaker's arsenal. You wouldn't know it to look at him or anyone in his family, but Braun Breaker's a surprisingly intelligent competitor. Obviously, brute strength is one of the great tools in his arsenal, but if you overlook Breaker's ring smarts, it might be your undoing. Good insight, Corey. This guy needs to plan for anything from Breaker. Escape just in time. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Launched with a suplex. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. for that one. Whip back into the ring. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Just tremendous raw power from Braun Breaker. The military press into the power slam. Is that all she wrote for Big E? Big E just used every one of his muscles to get his shoulder up there. And Breaker having to reckon with the fact that his best seemingly wasn't good enough. Establishing complete control. He's on his heels a bit now. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. Lifted way up. That'll jam your tailbone. Shoulder tackle. Elbow detours that offense. The power on the Falcon Arrow. Shoulder tackle. He's just getting beaten on all fronts here. 
Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. This is when Big E really needs to hear that New Day Rock chant and get those massive hip flexors moving. Okay, Byron, leave the table. Go start your chant. I will. Big E able to get out of the way. Breaker taking things to another level. I didn't think his intensity could go any higher, but I was just proven wrong. He saw where the superstars get right back in this match. It's almost unbelievable what we're seeing with our own eyes. Believe it, Corey, believe it. Back body drop. Exclamation point for the victory here. Kicks out. So, so close. That could have been it. Ooh. Nice. Ow. Loving blow to the chest. Oh, this is not going to end well. Big time power bomb. Dodges. Big E. The big ending for Big E. Well, that clinched things for Big E. Two. He kicked out at two. Breaker defiantly getting his shoulder up in time. Big E looking frustrated here, guys. He really needs to dial back in and refocus on the task at hand. What a punch! Just like that, Big E finds a counter. Ron avoids the attack. Taking this outside. This could be good. Solid punch. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Manages to land a big headbutt. This has been an absolutely brutal display of will from these men. You can see their flames starting to flicker. And it's only a matter of time before one goes out. Stiff elbow will break that up. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Caught with a lariat. He's going to the pin. This could be it. End of the pay window. And finally, finally, he picks up the victory. Here is your winner, Braun Breaker. A statement victory for Braun Breaker. <laughs> Too bad, loser. I guess Big E doesn't rock, does he, gentlemen? Maybe some other time. Look out, here comes the history maker, the man, Becky Lynch. I'll tell you what, you cannot understate what Lynch has meant to sports entertainment and to women everywhere. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. She is as tough as they come.
Yeah, these days the outfits may be a little fancier, but the passion in Lynch remains the same. Perhaps the most popular competitor in women's division history. A submission specialist, an amazing in-ring IQ, and one of the best brawlers in the women's division. Becky Lynch can win in so many different ways. Let's see how the man does it tonight. Guys, it is time for a Tiffany epiphany. Tiffany Stratton, ready to dominate the competition. And from Prior Lake, Minnesota, Tiffany Stratton. Tiffany Stratton, one of the quickest learners in NXT history. She made her NXT debut within weeks of entering the Performance Center, becoming NXT Women's Champion just a year and a half later. Already possessing athleticism on another level, Stratton takes every opportunity to get better. Scary how impressive she is as an in-ring competitor this early in her career. As far as Tiffany Stratton is concerned, she is the prettiest thing to ever happen in WWE. She thinks her presence alone drastically improves the quality of our broadcast. I mean, is she wrong? You have to admit, everything about Stratton really is pretty. From her clothes, to her hair, to her picturesque attacks, Stratton has worked hard to make sure she is the image of in-ring perfection. And she works hard to make sure she always gets what she wants, one way, or another. And you best bet Becky Lynch did her homework, though, Cole. Lynch isn't the type to come into a match blind, and she no doubt has a game plan here. Yeah, when the man comes around, it's always with a plan in mind. Oh. Effective. Can she keep her down? She breaks the count quick. Close call, but not enough yet. Uh, she's trying, trying to create space. Ooh, neck breaker. She manages to get control. Ah, oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. Training back and forth blows now. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. Nothing pretty here. Just good old-fashioned fisticuffs. Looks like a hockey fight's just broken out. Oh, ouch. You can feel the contact, and so does the WWE Universe. Oh, man. Two fighters putting their haymakers on autopilot right now. She heads out, but this one can be lost by countout. Here comes that rolling fireman's oh. carry. Nice rolling fireman's carry. That could send a message to Tiffany's doubters. All the chat of privilege should go out the window after that. Uh-oh, swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. A little rope assistance. Very effective. Uh oh. Arm drag. Simple yet quickly to cover. No! Kicks out! She is still fighting, still keeping this going. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. 
Double underhook. Sit out into the armbar. She fights her way out of the armbar. Ooh, that foils Lynch. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. Sunk. Becky Lynch looking and the ropes save her there. Becky Lynch looking for it. The manhandle slam. Nothing Stratton can do now. Two count. She gets her. Becky Lynch gets the win. Here is your winner, Becky Lynch. And Becky Lynch walks away with the W. This is a travesty, and Stratton knows it. I'm sure she'll straighten all this out when she gets to the back. The original, the official, the only club that matters. More championships among the three than most of the locker room combined. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. The most dominant club in the world, marching towards the pinnacle of their collective careers. They already look mean, now they just need the green. They make short work of their opponents and head right to the pay window. The LWO is here. Representing the culture, representing a legacy. That's what they're all about. And his opponent, representing the LWO from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. There is a whole lot of fight in this team, and they won't ever let anyone forget that. For the LWO to give anything less than their best is not an option. That's not how you represent.
One of the most highly decorated superstars in the history of the business, AJ Styles, is in action here tonight. AJ spent years honing his craft around the world before he eventually took WWE by storm. You'd really be hard-pressed to find a place in the world where Styles hasn't achieved some sort of fame and glory. And he did so with his incredible athleticism first and foremost, which is why I expect we're about to see a phenomenal match here. And he's taken on the devious and vindictive Santos Escobar, showing just a blatant lack of respect for everyone. Saxton, Santos was tied down by carrying dead weight for years. Escobar has finally shed that weight, and now he's looking absolutely unstoppable. Ouch. A reversal catches Santos. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Oh, he knew what was coming. Off the ropes. Leg drop. Does the path to victory for Santos Escobar lie in the more traditional or modern elements of his game? It might actually be both. Escobar possesses a perfect blend of modern and traditional offense. If he wants to win tonight, he needs to bring the best of both worlds. Oh, that'll rattle you. Perhaps a little more determination needed from Styles. Yeah, Santos is building a way to take out the competition. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. A little style from the Emperor of Lucha Libre. And now thrown back into the ring. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Smart strategy, attack the knee. Oh, disabling the leg with that. Targeted the lower body there, and it was highly effective. Santos was ready there. German suplex. Hooked up. Oh, shit breaker. And he goes for the pin! One, two, no shoulders up at two! He thought he had it! Yeah. And down with the suplex! Oh, what a kick! He got whipped into that corner! Got them right in the corner. Oh my gosh! What are they doing here? Oh, hip drop. That arm's gonna be sore for a while. Could affect all their offense. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. And he slides him back to the mat. Escobar with a... Connecting with the Phantom Driver. AJ's eyes are glazed over. And they're still in this. How in the world does AJ find the will, find the tenacity to get the shoulder up there. A new strategy is needed right about now if that couldn't end things. He just barely dodges. Blackjack! Face first. AJ capitalizes on that misstep. Would you look at this? She is removed. Oh, 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 no! Oh, no! There it is! He hits it! Styles clash! Will it pay off for Styles? AJ Styles has done it. He's a winner. Here is your winner. The Phenomenal AJ Styles! 
Santos Escobar knocked off and leaves here a loser. A loss like this will burn Santos Escobar for a long time. No matter how much he wanted to, Escobar just couldn't close this out. Here comes main event, Jey Uso. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds, man. You look at what Jey Uso has done away from the bloodline, and he is definitely worthy of the main event moniker. First man in over three years to pin Roman Reigns. Nearly defeated the Tribal Chief, went on and earned multiple titles without his family. But Jey will not be happy until he is on top of the mountain all by himself. The entire WWE Universe on their feet for Jey Uso. Well, it sounds like this entire arena agrees that this is indeed the main event. Listen to this frenzy for L.A. Knight. If any dummies out there don't know, now they know. And his opponent from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Knight. Knight made headlines when he became a breakout superstar. Now he's on the type of ascent that can't be stopped. There's no doubt LA Knight has created something special with the WWE Universe. It's a real movement with everybody saying his name. Now it becomes about what can Knight do with it. With Jey Uso, you have to remember, we're looking at a tag team specialist who's really made a name for himself as a singles competitor as a boy. Defying his family's wishes, carving out a path for himself as just Jay. He has truly been a delight to watch grow as a competitor these days. And he's facing off against one of the biggest egos in WWE, LA Knight. Well, there's no 
shortage of confidence in L.A. Knight, Corey. He's earned every ounce of it. He spent years honing his abilities to become the paragon of a superstar we see in the ring. I do not see this match going on much longer with too many more moves like that. Back and forth we go. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. The willpower, the sheer guts of these two. WWE Universe appreciating these athletes going all out. Both absolutely drained, but both refusing to give up. Just going off with everything they've got now. That shot ends things. Superstar in all of WWE. From the top, this rock kick finds its mark. Just one step ahead. And that was a well-executed attack. Vicious right forearm. Ooh, headbutt. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Lands face first. Slam. The amount of force behind that was enough to knock a normal person out. Just barely, but it counts. And what a reversal from Jey Uso. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. So much damage inflicted. Ooh, and a reversal. Jey Uso is willing to pull out all the stops here, whatever it takes. Oh, right to the face. Oh, he's looking to completely render this leg useless. Stump puller leg snap, very effective. Point of the elbow, nailed it. Knight denies the attack. to some safety. Boom! Looks like LA Knight got busted up there. Flapjack! What? With the cover. cover. And he powers out. He got close there. It could be do or die time. He's taking this to the floor now. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. I see how it is. Going to take any shortcut to bypass a clean competition. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a shortcut, Saxton. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. That's Ooh. right. Put your runs up in the air for main event Jey Uso. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment. Oh, Traped over the top rope. Big shot block. That'll stop me in your tracks. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Back and forth from these competitors. Oh, what a headbutt. 
lifts their opponent's oh. legs. And oh. Oh. Gets caught by the opposition. Jay's been an initiator throughout and remains one here. Top rope. Uso with the Uso splash. Will Jay take advantage? Cover. And the victory. Here is your winner. Jey Uso ending the night with his hands raised. Jey Uso has made it perfectly clear he's ready to put everyone on lockdown. The following champion versus champion contests is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's World Championship. And here come three women looking to take control. Perhaps the most dominant women's faction in WWE history. Attitudes and personalities aside, Damage Control is one of the most impressive factions we have ever seen in the women's division, ever seen in WWE at all. They are arguably the most decorated team to ever be in WWE too, Michael. That's where a lot of the attitude comes from. A team of winners all coming together for a common goal, taking over the women's division that they so clearly belong on top of. Could that be it? Does this woman have the answer for Ripley's trademark toughness, do you believe? Cole, I don't know if there's anybody in WWE or beyond who can match raw power with the Eradicator, Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley and Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Just look at the happy couple. Oh, do we have to? So, some have called Rhea Ripley the leader of the Judgment Day. So, I suppose that makes Dom her secretary. Well, first of all, Saxton, it's executive assistant. And secondly, there are no leaders in the Judgment Day. They are a team of equals, equal partners. 
That's what Rhea and Dirty Dom are. They haven't even done anything yet, and they're already so smug. You'd be smug too, Cole, if you had a ride or die like Mommy. This is what the Judgment Day is all about. Ready to wreak havoc no matter the time and place. Dominic and Rhea simply revel in it. Introducing the challenger. From Tokyo, Japan, the WWE Women's Champion, Io Sky. And her opponent, from Adelaide, Australia, the WWE Women's World Champion and the NXT UK Women's Champion, Rhea. We see it there, the Women's World Championship, the reward for coming out on top in this match. A symbol of dominance for the woman who possesses the coveted title. women ready to push themselves further than ever before, all in the name of being the women's world champion. Each woman is more than happy to mix it up and go places she's never been in order to leave here with the gold. Well, this looks like it's going to be another certified banger. Oh, my, a jumpy DDT. Absolutely planted. Spectacular counter into a dragon screw. And a slap to, for the title. And she's not done yet. So resilient. This is just brute power. Release German. Oh, oh. this is what's this gonna be? Wheelbarrow! Flop jack! Face first. There's return fire on Rhea. It's not even a challenge. Ah. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. Ah. Sweeps the... Uh-oh. Ripley sidesteps the attack. These two having an answer for everything. <laughs> oh, well scouted by Ripley. Oh, fuck it! Gosh, landing face first. Right to the face. My God. Stop after stop after stop. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. Incredible pressure being put on Sky. Io has to start volleying back somehow. I have to think that Rhea Ripley's signature brutality is going to play a major role in deciding this match. Oh, I agree. If Rhea can fully unleash her most sadistic instincts in the ring, she'll be very tough to beat. She needs to let herself go wild and be absolutely as savage as possible. Wow! Hurricanrana! Gotta find a way to get out of this. Ooh, shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? to three. Wow. The better part of Valor. Oh, 
Inverted tree of woe position now. Oh, right across the solar plexus. Just having their face stomped. That was just wrong. You should be a better person than that. And a slap for the cover by the champ. And the champ does not end it. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. Tossed into the corner. Punch right to the face. Impressive reversal there. Elbow puts an end to that. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Snapmare takedown. Running right over him. Exclamation point drop kick. Eel bursts to the top rope. She's getting back to her feet, but is there fight left? Well, uh, look out. Nobody home for that one. Strikes with a kick. This is what you call high risk, high reward. Here we go. She comes up empty. Oh my God. The champ now absorbing a little damage. Oh, nice balance. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. Oh, drop kick. Targeting the knee, targeting the leg. This is a perfect strategy. David versus Goliath, 101 in action. Into a double knee drop. Both wrists captured and oh! by the throat into the top rope. Oof. to get the advantage here. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. And she slides her back to the mat. Ooh, what a forearm club. Spinning heel kick. And Io gets pounced on. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. an elbow to disrupt that attack. EO with a turnaround. She just dug down deep there, but I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. Soaring. He fades their offense. Big form. How do these women have anything left? I have no idea, but there is no way. Oh, we know what's coming up next. Ripley's got her hook. Rip time. Can it be? Will the rain continue? Challengers survived that by the skin of their teeth. And don't expect the champ to start going easy on them now. Rhea Ripley's best shot couldn't end this, and you've got to wonder what's next. Well-placed punch, ugly, but effective response. The WWE Universe willing these superstars on. Pumping the adrenaline they so desperately need right now. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Unloads with the boot. Shoved off using her incredibly powerful legs.
Man, this is about as close as you can cut it. They're playing with fire here. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. And it's a double count out. Not the way we wanted to see this end. You are looking at the main event. Bray Wyatt has transformed himself and John Cena into the weapons of mass destruction. Guys, this is bizarre. The following contest is a six-man tag team match. And at a combined weight of 525 pounds. John Cena and Bray Wyatt, weapons of mass destruction. We are looking at the hottest team to ever hit Saturday nights. They're not really a team, Corey. I mean, Cena's being brainwashed, I believe. Brainwashed? I think Bray Wyatt makes Cena better. I disagree. John Cena is being reduced to his physique and his power. Those are the tools Bray Wyatt needs to dominate WWE. The powerhouse of Gallus, Wolfgang. When you see this man coming, you know there's going to be a brawl. And representing Gallus from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 255 pounds, Wolfgang! Singles, tag team, traditional match, a stipulation, it doesn't matter to Wolfgang. The more go, fists go, that are go, flying, go. the better. If Wolfgang had his way, the ring area would be turned upside down and in shambles. And then he'd start throwing people around. Wolfgang's just a different breed of animal. We won't see any catch-as-catch-can moves or high-risk theatrics. Just brutality unleashed. Corey, it's this simple. Wolfgang smells blood and goes on a rampage. Here come the Creeds, a duo who can win on any level. And at a combined weight of 515 pounds, Brutus and Julius, the Creed Brothers. The Creeds are complete wrecking machines. At one point, they were hidden gems in NXT. But now, the secret is out. Yeah, these two possess amazing physical skills and fantastic teamwork. And the more experience they get, the stronger of a force they'll become. From pro football to the Hall of Fame, 
Here comes Fahim from Warner Robins, Georgia, weighing in at 275 pounds. Farouk! He is hard hitting, shockingly powerful, and not the type of guy you want to get into a brawl with. That's just how he likes it. Farouk never backs down from a fight. One of the toughest men in all of sports entertainment. He'll drink you under the table or put you through it. What would you know about drinking anybody under a table? But he's been a champion at every level and in every company. Farouk is all action and all business tonight. And we are locked and loaded for this tag team matchup. Ready to get it on, we see John Cena, Wolfgang, and Bray Wyatt. And across the ring, the team they're ready to face off with. Brutus Creed, Julius Creed, and Farouk. And there is a lot of animosity growing between these teams. I expect all four competitors to throw caution to the wind. Isolating the leg, leg breaker. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Oh, Complete man. dominance. Counters! Oh, Cena got caught with the reversal. Oh, what a strike to the back. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. Suplex! Tagged into the action. Tag is made, and he's coming in hot. A big forearm connects. Ooh, sharp elbow. And Corey, how do you account for the extra variables in a six-man tag? Trust. Even the most long-standing trios have an odd man out. Regardless, you need to push the doubt aside. Trust both of your partners and put them in a position to do what they do best. Bam! Down he goes. Oh, no mercy behind that forearm. Tag is registered. Side headlock applied. What a good Punch. measure. Text into the cover. Oh. And Bray Wyatt kicks out. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. There he goes, right into the corner. something here. Oh, God, face first. Delivers an axe handle. Tagged in. Uh-oh. He deflects it right back. Wyatt cuts him off. Here he comes off the tag. Waist lock applied, but their opponent manages to fight out with a series of punches. Big knee to the midsection. There's the switch. John Cena's in. Keep it up. Uh-oh. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. 
Cena dodges out of that. Into the corner now. Tag made. We've seen some great chemistry from this team here, Michael. Yeah, incredible chemistry. Total hold on the elbow on the back of the neck. For the record, Saxton, you and I would never have that kind of chemistry. Hey, I'd be a great teammate. I've seen you trip over your own left foot. No thank you. Oh, just turn that around. Fumes. I don't know how much longer they can go. 
He's absorbing some tough hits now. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Tag was made. Tag's made. Whips across the ring. Double shoulder block. Got their opponent on oh, Snake Eyes! Tag switching it up. legal, but it's incredibly effective. And no two ways about it. That move was just dirty. My goodness, is this even legal? I don't think so. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. Oh, what a shot. Oh, Bray had it scouted. This is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. That's oh. what they call it, a hot shot. Oh, my God, a close line. Looking wobbly in the corner. Oh, an overhand punch. Draped upside down in a tree of woe. Man, how many knees are we going to see? Get in there, ref. There's the tag. There's the tag. What's going to happen here? We're about to find out. Double shoulder tackle. some power out of Farouk. He got whipped into that corner. He's tagging out. Punch connects. Face Buster plants him. In full control here. Face first in the turnbuckle. What a 
counter. Doing whatever it takes. Driving their opponent down. Now launching Bulldog. Does he get it here? And they're still in this. in his tracks. Uh-oh. On the power, the strength of the Dominator. And Bray finds himself in trouble. Boom, what impact. And look at this now. Bad intentions coming with it. Oh, he's able to find enough grip to fight out of the hole. Crucial escape here. Rich in the R. Oh, clothesline. Shifts it back onto him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got him hooked. And planted them with a well-executed DDT. Tagged in. Placed kick. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Huge toss. We got a cover. And still in this. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. by Cena. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. He has to be at his limit now. He can really stand to give back as good as he's getting right about now. If anyone can make a big comeback, you know it's John Cena. Ah, what a he thinks he has it! No, stops the count. Two. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Fisherman suplex. Listen to this place. It's electric. Turning the tables. The Cena put this one away. Tags him in. Ooh, stiff punch. Let him have this moment. He's earned it. Brutus Creed has him. Line. Ouch. No way Wolfgang recovers from that. Up on their shoulders. Down in a hurry. that they'll only ever be second best. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Really pushing the limit there. As long as you're aware, use as much of the ref's count as you want.
Kent into the corner. Oh, vicious body shot. In the corner. The end is looming now. There is no way this can go on for much longer. He's able to fight Wolfgang off. A stalemate of counters. Gore! Brutus Creed being targeted. three to pick up the win. No doubt about it, the better superstar definitely won tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Well, here comes the sky. Warrior carrying his trusted blade, Angela McIntyre summons the support of the WWE Universe into battle. The Scottish Warrior outlasted 29 other superstars to win the 2020 Royal Rumble match and then carried that momentum all the way to WrestleMania, where he became WWE Champion. Well, this superstar has stated that conquering Roman Reigns is his destiny. The bloodline has arrived. Their dominance is historic. A faction that has amassed unparalleled power. And the bloodline is not afraid to showcase that power.
Look, we know every member could be dominant on their own, but they are even stronger together. When the bloodline is on the same page, guys, they are simply unbeatable. Well, they are on the same page, Cole. They've realigned their values, dropped the dead weight, and the bloodline remains stronger than ever. You can't allow Drew McIntyre to rip him from his comfort zone. He can't do that. Now, this superstar has got to remember who he is and what brought him to the dance. Introducing the challenger from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. And his opponent from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the world heavyweight champion, and the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns! It's big, it's gold, and every superstar wants it. The World Heavyweight Championship. Look at that illustrious, beautiful title. Big fight feel, big fight atmosphere, World Heavyweight Championship on the line here tonight. Oh. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Yeah. Whoa, not quite yet. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Turns it around, sole of the foot meets the stomach. Roman Reigns with a schoolboy pinning combination. No! What power from the Tribal Chief. When the champ wants to prove a point, nothing does it like a powerbomb. Crank in the head. That dodge can buy true time. Effective big forearm. The tribal chief oozing disdain for his opponent. Open the spine buster gets out of there in a hurry. Switches it back around. Oh, the... Just end this now. Oh, he's playing possum! And he doesn't let the pin last long at all. Looks like it's going to take much more here. Turned that one around. Put it in a position now. Right across the larynx. 
McIntyre's spirit might have wavered there a bit. Corey, you've been in the ring with Reigns before. How exactly do you counteract someone as explosive as him? Well, first, just to be clear, Cole, I lost against Reigns. So I don't know if I even knew at the time how to counteract Reigns' explosiveness. But I do wish I'd done more to slow and dull him down, though I know it's a lot easier said than done. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper, extend your elbow. Saw that one coming. Look with the point of the elbow. Boom, what impact. The champion's down, the champion's down. Oh, my God, we're going to have a new champion. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. And he's taking this to the outside now. won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict is a very, very difficult submission to escape, but he did it. Oh. Need to hustle back to the ring. Just a few seconds left. Taking it outside the ring now. Throws the opposition back into the ring. Close line. What impact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bam! Down he goes. Oh, look at this. He is looking to do some serious harm. He heads outside. Countouts legal in this match. to the R. Hyper extend. Oh, but Reigns, the champ has his one hit. 